Hello and welcome back. We are playing Civilization VI with Gandhi ruling India. Uh, we so in our first episode we uh, explored a bit of our continent and found some of our neighbors. Now, unfortunately, we're fighting, trying to fight off the Aztecs, and we are at war with the Scythians. Uh, so. Uh, but we should be able to fight them off. We got our uh, Varu, the elephant warriors, and so they seem to be pretty strong, especially against the the weaker units of our opponents. They, I think they just mostly have beginning and starting units. I think these eagle warriors are basically just a like slightly better warriors. So uh, let's continue. Are working on pottery. That's the last remaining initial tech we have to do before we can get irrigation. And again, um, okay, so we're getting amenities. Now I think amenities are each of these luxury resources. Rescue Agra, which is being besieged. So we can't do anything there yet. So we'll just have our builder just go to sleep there. It is interesting with the builders, I find. Like before in Civ 5, you just build a couple workers, then just have them around for the millennia, just, you know, building whatever you needed. But with the builders and their charges, uh, you have to continually build the builders so they take up time from your construction queue. So that's another thing you kind of have to uh, schedule or work around. So, like, while you, you might want to build uh, districts or wonders. The, possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. Um, Okay, so now we can finally change our governments. We have the first three here. This went to all total yields. Hmm, well, maybe since we are... I do like the Classical Republic. Getting the extra amenities and great people points is nice. I think right now I'll go oligarchy, uh, just to... It's, I think it's... well, it'll give us some uh, combat bonuses. Alright, so, okay, we want to keep that. Production towards builders we don't really need, so we can... Um, gold is a little bit down. But we don't really have any trade units, so... Um... Settlers? Okay, so let's do the settlers. We'll probably want to try to put out a couple settlers. Now, these two, um, it's interesting because I originally tried my first couple of games with this one, and uh, it was good to build up um, envoys with city states. And then I tried Diplomatic League because it basically doubles your first envoy. But I think Charismatic Leader is better in the long term. So, we'll try to go for that. And now we have a wild card, so we can pick any of these, really. Um, so we could still do the builders, but... And can I really want to get... Start working on a great profit. We'll do that. Oh, great. Uh, horse archers. See, they just have a whole bunch of units here. Yeah, might as well just go crush that barbarian. Still keeping an eye on these guys, they might come in and uh, 
Okay, so we need a new Civic. Constru uh, research construction. Build a wonder. Now we are working on a wonder. How long will that take? Twelve turns. Okay, so let's try working on our oracle. Let me shit here. Yeah, and see now they've already uh, kicked out one guy. Now, this might be risky because I'm not building military units anymore, so. We'll have to see. I'm not sure how strong these core charts are, guy. Uh. Okay, yeah, 15 damage. I can get that barding if I get, uh. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. Okay, finally got our pottery research. So now... Oh, it gives housing. That'll be nice. Because I've often run into the issue of requiring housing for, uh, for my cities to grow. And so having an improvement that just up and straight up gives uh oh now I get a promotion. I wanna try to get rid of these guys. So they don't kill that guy. Okay, peace, and they'll give me money, sure. And now that you've killed my elephant, thanks. Okay, but I don't have to worry about these guys, so it's just the, the Aztecs here. Right there. Okay, I don't want him pillaging my holy sites. Take him out first. Okay, we have, we've claimed the iron, so... Hmm. Once I get that guy, I might be able to move him down. It would've been nice to get that, uh... promotion. If I want to put a thing there, I'll probably put one there. But I want, might want to keep those open for districts. Okay. Okay, so there's one other person with religion. It's a piece, so. Thousands have lived without love, not one without water. Okay, so now we got a bunch of upgrade or improvements we can do. Stomp over him. Get you in there. Now. Oh, 
See, so regular improvements, at least most of them, they give half a point of housing. So, like, you know, you have a little hut there that uh, some guy can live in part of the time. Alright, so one of them needed construction. I need a water mill for that. Iron mine I can get. But... Okay, yeah, water mill. Alright, so now we can build walls. That'll be nice. Because then we can actually have the city be able to attack people. Basically like in uh, Civ 5. So. That'll be good. Wow, they got another city somewhere. Hmm. Although I did want to build my encampment there. I could build it there, I guess. Or maybe I'll just send him down to build a fire. Okay, come on, survive, please! No. Okay, so here's the barding, but uh, versus fortified defender. Oh, we'll get that one. Just in case they have some slingers or archers or something or other. Since China's uh, conquered most of the city-states, we'll uh, just be happy with that one, I guess. Oh, mine. That's 
probably why my production went down. Come on, if you could just get out of the way, that would be nice. Sometimes the wheel turns slowly, but it turns. Okay, so heavy chariot, but the watermill will be nice. Okay, so what else we got? Writing. Need to build our campus. Uh, okay, well, I'm, cons I'm not sure exactly what this is, but because uh, you see cliffs on the edge of. Um, you know, on the coastline, so I guess they can, uh, disembark from there. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of you. So we got rid of our diamond mine. Not too bad. Oh, wow, did fifty. <sighs> hmm. Well, I'm almost done the Oracle. Of course, it won't help me with that. Hopefully they'll be able to survive. Okay. Now the problem with these early wars is that since I have to build things I wouldn't normally, I'm uh, basically losing time. I have to build walls or military units or whatever. It's like, so I can't be building uh, settlers Writing or districts. Writing means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Okay. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Okay, so each adjacent mountains, rainforest. Build our mine. Iron working. Need to keep shooting you. Hopefully, I can kill you. Nope. Stomping you. turn. Alright, so iron working. Then I can get swordsmen, hopefully deal with these guys better. Although, as I said, my elephants seem to be doing pretty good. It's just that they're pillaging all of my improvements. I sprang upon the swift ship in the form of a dolphin. Pray to me as Apollo Delphinius, also the altar itself. 
shall be called Delphinius and overlooked forever. I missed this in Civ uh, 5. Everything's a little uh, displays. I think in Civ 4 you got a little. It was getting drawn or something. Had the little animation. Okay, I guess he doesn't like me building wonders, probably. Because his wonders are just as good. The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. Okay, so we could change to get great writers, but... We're happy now. Building! Okay. Need more elephants. And what can we do here? Two campuses, that'll take a while. Uh, found a religion, maybe. Construction technology. Okay, we're working on that. Okay, well... Let's do that one. We're not going to get the bonus anytime soon. So. Oh, and they got promoted. Well. Uh, keep having them heal. I guess I can uh, break you off so at least I don't lose the builder when I get uh, killed there. I can name them. Ah oh, man, so just I want to end this war so I can just go back to uh, building stuff. Cause these guys, they're just keep pumping out these cheap uh, warrior units. Ah oh, man, so he killed my elephant. <laughs> Still can't uh, promote those guys. I have to kill that guy off so he doesn't pillage my. What was that? Okay, yeah, our promise to stop settling. Of course, we haven't been able to build a settler. We got these annoying uh, jerks running around. Well, looks like he's pretty safe. And, uh, maybe build a quarry? I can't remember if I... Oh, darn it, I should have... Uh... Okay, so we can actually claim a great person. What was it? Great profit, here we go. Of course, so... Um... Okay, so this is our things we built. We can see how close our uh, rivals are getting. So, all right, recruit him. Fortunately, he won't be able to get to our holy site. Sucks, and we're starting to get uh, housing concerns. So, have to uh, get him to the holy site so he can. Should have done that earlier. Yeah, it was basically. Okay, so I can actually 
harvest all that for 65. Okay, and I can finally promote you. Okay. So now I'm curious because now did this go away because I gained a great profit? I'm not sure. We'll go after a general. Especially if we have to have a bunch of warmongers around. Okay, and he can now get to my holy site. And found a religion. So. So we got our basic Buddhism, Catholic, Confucianism, Hinduism. Then we even get, well, zodiac signs so we can make our own. Um, not sure what that is. A butterfly and a turtle. So let's just take uh, Hinduism. We've got Shinto and Judaism already. So, oh, faith. This one I like, because as I said, I often have uh, coming to housing shortages. Amenities aren't too bad because there's always uh, luxuries around and you can build um, entertainment districts. I haven't run across many relics yet. And then work ethic. So, so let's do religious community. Now, this one. Wara. That might be helpful with food, housing, missionaries. This might be good. Okay, so let's do this Defender of the Faith. Uh, just because I'm worried about having to uh, fight. Uh, there we go. Theology. By gaining our religion. Now, um, it took me a while to actually realize this, but. You actually, to uh, spread your religion, you spend your um, religious points to buy uh, missionaries and such. I guess that's pretty much the same as in Civ 5. Or did you have to build them? I think you might have had to build them. I can't remember. It's been a few months since I played Civ 5. Alright, so I got my. elephant back. And, alright, I'm gonna need... Okay, so... And we are large enough, I can build my encampment. But, uh, let's get out a settler. I know there's all these that I have to rebuild, but, um... I want to get out of third city. I have to start uh, expanding my influence here. No. I'm not really happy with you. Well, geez, I just got my religion. Give me a bit of time. So it would be nice if he does not get a religion. He's got his pantheon. Okay, so have you stop there? Have you keep on the lookout for barbarians? Because it might be nice to get up to here, be able to use this wonder. Not quite sure where I could put. Could maybe put one right in here. Diamonds. It would be close enough. I could build a harbor if I really wanted to. And it's still uh, close enough here. Who built? Uh, somebody built the pyramids. Montezuma. Can't quite remember. I can't remember offhand what the pyramids do in 
of six. I think they give you a free builder and something else. Oh, and it's got iron here, so I'm starting to think this will be pretty good. It's fairly close to soul, so I can... Uh... All right, so we got our the walls. The Lord made us all out of iron. Then he turns up the heat to forge some of us into steel. Okay. So again, we're well, you're starting to get uh, notices for amenities and housing. So okay, we got engineering, sailing. We don't have to worry about too much right now. And so it would be nice, but let's get engineering. Okay, now I know there is a water mill um, eureka moment, so get that built. Not sure if I could build a water mill in there. I'm wondering if these pillaged ones uh, lose their housing. So I'll keep around here. I'll send my next settler up here. Just to forestall any expansion China might be thinking about. Should probably also get into some more scouts out so I can uh, find more civilizations. Alright. So, yeah, it is suggesting a good settlement place up here, but then that would be too far away from the coast. So, I'm thinking of in here, we could build an aqueduct. Okay, let's send them here first. And now the red zones means it's too close to a city to put uh, there. So, oh, we could build a water mill. So let's get a builder so we can uh, start repairing some of these. Missionaries. <laughs> oh, I don't know why he's so happy with me all of a sudden. Maybe I should uh, try sending a diplomat there. Or whatever. Delegation. Okay. Now I think that it just gives us more information on their uh, same luxuries. Hmm. So I imagine he probably didn't like us because we have our luxuries we had. Well, of course. If he knew they got a delegation because we sent it. Just have them keep stay there for now. More housing. Probably need to get a... Yeah, I'm losing four. I need to get a trader running. At least build a road there. Start building roads. Elsewhere. Shrine is in the medieval, huh? Okay, so I still have to decide exactly where. Now this is only three away. Yeah, maybe I'll 
one over. Well, it's not a lot, but hey, it's a little bit. Okay, got my builder. Hey, I can build, um... Now, I don't think, uh, repairing takes up building charges, so... That'll be nice. Probably put my farms along here. Oh, there is this area down here I could use. Well, we'll see. Okay, so... Now, greeneries are nice because they get plus two housing, so that'll certainly help me grow. And after that's done, maybe I can actually build, finally build my encampment. So... Um, okay, we get another envoy. Too bad China snapped up all of those. Okay, so he sent a delegation to my king. No, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, ugh. Okay. So he didn't like that. Gold, huh? Okay, so. Repair that. Okay. Yeah, he didn't like me having diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Hopefully he doesn't uh, declare war on me again. finishing engineering. We're almost done. Recorded history. Uh, we haven't built a campus yet, so... Now it looks like we can build the step wells in the desert, so that'll be nice. And now that I actually have walls around the city, they'll be able to hopefully hold off. Wow. Oh. <laughs> they want me to join in their war against uh, China. Uh, sorry, I don't really want to get into a war. This trip is the version of past events that really people have decided to agree upon. Against, uh, okay, so what do these do again? Oh, housing and food. Okay, that's good. That's what we need. Oh, uh, city down here will be nice. Getting that wheat. Okay, so we'll do theology. And, uh, and then we can probably work on some of that. Yeah, just declared war on China. Okay, so. Okay, at least I'm doing a little bit better for. Fix you up. Just have him wandering around. Keep an eye out for barbarians. Okay, 
Okay. Nope. Oh yeah, I don't think they uh Okay, we got our watermill. Normal people believe that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Engineers believe that if it ain't broke, it doesn't have enough features yet. Okay. So I'm gonna move down there. You can get that cattle. Although I could go up there and get that more of that iron. Oh yeah, we met Sumeria. Okay, so we could do construction. That'll help one of our um, things. Now, probably be good to build a campus. don't have anything that really uh, can benefit it, so I'll probably try to make uh, surround it by a couple of districts, hopefully. Uh, and I need a trader and a bunch of stuff. Oh. Oh. Congo. Okay, so let's get a trader so we can start hopefully making some money. Under hand gardens. Should be able to see it if it's somewhere. Imagine he's doing probably a lot more better than I am. Hmm. I wonder who they at war with. Okay, I'll just have them sit there for now. Just, uh, it's a strategic resource, so then we'll actually be able to build build horsemen. Ah, oh, Samaria's declared war on Carthage. Now, unfortunately, Carthage, I think, is just a city-state in six. So. We can no more have exact religious thinking without theology than exact mensuration and astronomy without mathematics or exact iron-making without chemistry. Okay, so we finished our theology. Still working on construction, so. Yeah, we'll get most of the way through this by the time we get there, so. Alright, we can get to the third one, but we don't have a theater district, so. We might be able to get the suzerain bonus. Unfortunately, not much is going. 
one horse, one iron. Now, I don't think it's one per one like it was in Civ 5, where if you had one horse, you could build only one mounted unit. But it's certainly uh, rare enough to come across like iron and stuff, so. See how that goes. So now it's showing the, di the different routes it can go. And I'll just go to Agra first. It'll give it one food and one production. So. Or no. Oh, I guess. Uh, okay, so our trade route gives us uh, knowledge and currency, which will be nice. And then. Okay, I want to get working on my encampment, so. So I'm going to put it here. Now, as I said before, well, hopefully you'll see it later on. It kind of acts as a um, mini city where you can uh, attack people from it. and somewhat of a fort, I think. Um, so I'll put it on the edge of my... Basically, well, on the border with Congo. So um, if I have to go with to war with Congo, it'll be right on the edge. And apparently that is where your units can spawn from, so... Oh, they're starting to send out missionaries. Because, uh... I don't want to lose my religion. Uh, they already went to Calcutta. Okay, sure. Because one thing's actually interesting, and, uh... Interesting, because in Civ 5, it was a bit difficult to defend yourself from aggressive um, missionaries and stuff. Basically, you had to try to uh, tell them to stay out, and hopefully they honored that. Um, but in here, you can actually have your missionaries uh, fight opposing missionaries, and uh, try to keep them away from your cities. I guess before you had uh, Inquisitors that you could uh, clear out enemy uh, religions, but... Oh, I, uh... yeah, so they made peace. Okay, now I'm working on my road. are still pillaged. What's Calcutta doing? Oh, see, another person has been defeated. Samaria has conquered Carthage. Huh? People who cannot find time for recreation are sooner or later to find time for illness. Okay, so we could change to get... Uh, I think this one is often I like. As I said, often I'm looking around for a place the to get housing. The building blocks of the universe <laughs> are fire, water, gravel, and vinyl. Okay, so we got both of those. Um, sailing... Well, currency is pretty cheap, and it will give us another potential district. Again, I'm not sure at what point you can start making... Well, apparently he likes uh, productiveness. Oh, I bet you we need a shrine or something. A temple. I'm gonna have to work on that. Yet another thing to work on. See, like, 
in uh, Civ 5, I found, like, the, um, your cities, you could make them productive enough that uh, you just built whatever came next as you researched new technologies. But uh, here, it's like, you know, since everything, um, you know, has somewhat of a requirement, you know, like, I want to be building a bunch of this, I, there's all these districts I could be building, I could be building more units. Or I could be building uh, upgrades to my districts. Um, so, you know, there is, uh... It does seem like there's a lot more things that you need to build. And again, that's why it was frustrating with that early war. It kind of slowed me down. Uh, I had to spend uh, several turns building units. Um, I couldn't get out uh, my settlers, so... I'll have to see if I can work my fine and work myself back from that scene. Oh, darn it. China might uh, try to settle through here. wonder why they claimed that marsh. Well, I guess it gives three food. Okay, and then we get, see, another envoy already. So once we get up to... Uh, Oh, next to coastal tiles, huh? That'll be interesting. I did have one game as England that went pretty well, and so, you know, if that's uh, common with. Where can I check city states? Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Okay, so yeah, here, plus two gold from each adjacent river, and so then a market. But then again, like, you put a, put one here or something, there's like, what, one, two... It's like, uh, one, two, three, at least three? There's like, one, two, three, here? Okay, got that. So, now that I'm looking... Okay, I have to decide which ones I want to do next. None of them are... Um, I have the Eureka for it. But which ones are more... are m more possible to do? So, building mines, pretty easy. Build an aqueduct. I might have to end up doing that there. Three different specialty districts that might actually get there, but uh, I don't know. Like feudalism, civic might not get that. Three archers, I have one. Probably wouldn't be too bad to build another one, but they, this one is going to take a while. So I don't know. I might as well do sailing because eventually I'll want to get you know a harbor here, possibly a city on the coast. Okay, they built whatever they were building. I think the granary. Um, so let's get a builder. Ooh. No, actually, let's uh, let's build a scout. It's pretty quick. And actually, I could uh, just have them build those archers that I need. I just need two more. Uh, looks like they're gonna expand into here, which is a pain. Might wanna just grab some tiles here. Actually, I could just, uh, you know, it is a little bit, uh, uh blocking them off. Yeah, and they can't get around there. So, that kind of stymied them. Hopefully they won't go to war with, uh, against me for that, but, oh well see what they do. Need more amenities. I can uh, repair that. Hopefully... Yeah, see, they're going to have to go around. Oh! Petra. Somebody build Petra. Yeah, I need more amenities. Is superior to so. opulence. Hmm... 
Now this is nice if you want to build up your walls. Now I have one on down there, so I don't necessarily need that right yet. So what else do we got? Feudalism. Build six farms. Now that was the six farms I had mentioned before. Don't have any others. Let's do military training. Once I've done that, I can build my shrine, hopefully get my uh, missionaries. I really should uh, get started on some of that. Of course, I also need to build a builder. Okay, so now I could build a library on my campus. Or... Now... You need commercial hubs. Any decent place to really put it. Nope. What else could I build? An entertainment complex. Okay, well let's have a try with this. Now this is showing where we uh, get uh, adjacency bonuses, I'm pretty sure. So, put it there. Started on there. Almost done that. Okay. Get a builder after that. Almost done my scout. Okay, uh, now we have it. Oh yeah, we got our encampments. Military training, so that boosted that. That was just good timing there. Um, campus? Was that it? Mathematic, must have. Okay, so, send out the scout. And you wanted a builder. Yes, to fix that. You, what do you want? Now, I think, I'm pretty sure um, they have to be adjacent to the city, so put one there. Not sure if it's the best thing to build right now, but uh, I probably will need it eventually, so. Vessels large may venture more, but little boats should keep near shore. Alright, so... Mines I can easily do. I think I already have two of them. Just have to mine this or that. Uh, celestial navigation... Oh, we got mathematics. Eventually I'll probably want to get that uh, harbor, Calcutta. Oh, there's iron up there. It's within three, so haha. <laughs> probably what I'll do, fix, fix, run up there, mine that. Oi, 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 they're in the Renaissance. I don't even think I'm in the medieval era yet. Oh, 
that's the Hanging Gardens. Probably have to go have a look at it. And, you know, it's over here. If it's natural to kill, how come men have to go into training to learn how? Districts. Don't really need either of those. This would be nice, and I do like it when I'm neat want to build encampments. But since I've already built the one I want and don't really need another one yet. Okay, some feudalism. Six farms. Well, that'll probably be a while. And neither of those are really. Ah, and this serfdom is really nice. Okay, so get that. And again, we've only found <laughs> Nan Madal. Go on the lookout for some more city states. Yeah, except for some upgrades, the districts don't uh, be a lot of housing, I don't think. Okay, build a shrine. Oh yeah, missionaries, okay. Need a shrine for missionaries. Then I can start spreading. Wow, they're really working on building their great wall. Jeez. I didn't think it was all that uh, strong, really. Oh, see, so. Haha. <laughs> we kept our promise. Jeez. They're gonna waste all of their tiles just building the great wall? Okay, so. Fix that up. And here you can see it has a uh, strength rating. Oh, who's at war now? Spain against Samaria. Alright. You run up there. Finished uh, that. Apostles, eh? Okay, now this is injury because you have to choose either barracks or stable. So, stable is for cavalry and barracks are for Malian range. So, I think typically you uh, want to have barracks. I don't know if there's anything else. So, again, oh. I wonder if Aqueduct isn't uh, really limited by size. Okay, maybe I'll just try to crank up another settler. Pretty sure this is where uh, China wanted to go. Now it's Scythia. If I were again beginning my studies, I would follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. Okay, so we finished mathematics. Cross the river. Ooh. 
race. Oh yeah, Colin Cook took it over. Okay, and now again we have a choice. Um, three archers, I can still do that. Build an aqueduct I'm working on. Kill a unit with a spearman. That's probably not going to be likely. actually start working on this. I'm sure my builder will be able to get up there in time to make this a bit worthwhile. Where is he? Wow. Okay, I'm exploring more than him? Hmm. Apparently he doesn't like uh, people who go out exploring. Ah, met another city-state. Alright, Stockholm. What does he want? Struck the holy site. Well, I can build the second one. It's not really a problem. Okay, and he's there. I should be able to... Mm, don't really need to care about sheep. And I got the incense. Just have to expand to the coast there. Alright, there's my third mine. So I got apprenticeship. Speed that up. Okay, well, uh, it's been about an hour, I think. So, I'm gonna leave it here. Now, as I said, we're probably lagging behind, especially against our near rival Congo here. But uh, we're starting to get there. We're getting uh, some of our districts built. I think Delhi is doing all right. Uh, if I can just get these repaired, and then once I get that city, I'll have nice have a, a good ring around my capital to protect it. So um, just have to end the episode here. I hope you uh, everyone has enjoyed it, and. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy me for the next episode. Oh, hang on. There we go. So, uh, thank you and goodbye.